sure you did that. Remember, you don't, you don't. Soft lips over there. Uh, a few beers. <laughs> you guys remember the Avengers? Yeah. When Mark Ruffalo said, I should put a bullet in my mouth. No, he said he put... Did he? Yeah. He did I say put, that. I put a bullet in my mouth. Uh, he said, quote, I put a bullet in my mouth, and then the other guy spit it out, I think. Yeah. Because the Hulk's the other guy. He tried to end his life, and did then they the French Hulk... French kiss? The Hulk lives. Did they French kiss a bullet? Or, what are they talking about? He's saying he tried to kill himself, and the Hulk stopped him. The other guy in this and context then every, is the Hulk. Yeah. And this was, like, glazed over so hard in the movie. Yeah, because, I well, to say you put a bullet in your mouth sounds like you're I tried to beat it. off, but the other guy sucked me off. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he could get the Hulk head to pop out and yeah, suck him off. The Hulk, actually, his secret is that he has two fewer ribs. So he can, <laughs> and he everyone on the playground knows about That's, it. Why do you think he's the Incredible Hulk? Where do you think he got that from? The Hulk can suck himself off. What's up, guys? Welcome to the yard. Woo! We're here again, and it's presented to you by Coinbase. Coinbase. Coinbase Coin in the morning. Coinbase. It's going to be leaked by or now. Or Coinbase, yeah. Coinbase, yeah. That would be nice. Uh, I have such a funny video from this shoot. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone will have seen it by now. <laughs> yeah, I, we could actually post it with the It should uh, be the, the We can intro. open. Yeah, open. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. You'll You'll see it. It then. We're getting a little meta with this right now. We're talking about what's just played as if when we concept We should it. talk about Mogul Money, which airs tomorrow, as if it's already aired. Dude, that was should, such a good We should episode. say the airtime of this podcast. 92 minutes and one, 36 seconds. One hour and 36 minutes and 40 is that one <laughs> He's second. confused. Eamon's vomiting in his mouth. If you're right watching now. this, uh, type happy birthday Nick in Ooh, chat. Oh, sheesh, man. In YouTube comment section because this is B Day while we're recording. I can rent a car. They, okay, I hate that misconception because yeah. you can rent a car. Can, uh, can no, rent I can a rent car. a car with proper rates. There you go. That's, That's what, true. That, that is the truth That's of it. Well done. Which is yeah. so much lamer to say. Yeah. And yeah. you should just say it because no, it's true. But it's about being truthful. It's about being honest. The problem is I say I can rent a car because I like I can rent a car above 21, but like I won't. It's going to cost me a fortune. But now I can do it like a normal person. But there's yeah. So I probably will. You know? And you also are tw you know, you, you earn more money. As Unless you, you, you have a um, USAA, which I have. Oh, yeah. My stepfather's they they waived that, right? He served. Yeah. Semper Fi. He's your stepfather, though, so you should earn no I, I respect. I served. Our family Bro, is these. a warring family. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing mango shorts. I'm sad about this. Real quick. Okay. Guys, we're going to do the thing. Oh. Smash the bell. Subscribe to this shit. Wow. Smash that goddamn I'm ready. motherfucking. You that desperate? Bell. I'm that desperate because I want to hit 100k Jeez. and I want to have a 100k blowout and we can do something at 100k. Like we could show Amen's. At 100K, you balls. can pick cock any member's cock and ball to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's not me. I'm not including Well, you should be part of it. Why? A little Wait, bit higher are you value. not a part of this? I have a higher value. What, what, what's, what's your sub number? Wait, just a week ago, you said that to the guy who was posturing that he had your dick pic, run it. And now, now look who's backing well, out. If it's, for the, if it's for paper, I want a little more paper. 200K? 200K? No shot. What's 300K? Your, what, that's Surely. not even a milestone. What's your milestone? If we hit a million on this YouTube... Then you can see my cock and ball. And can I say something this really? Is a big can promise. I say one fucking thing real quick to the goddamn makers of YouTube? Why is it that all of our viewers are messaging me saying uh, I can't yeah. hit the bell? It says the channel's for children. Look, it's a YouTube sided bug. I yeah. figured this out. I reached out. It's a YouTube sided bug. Basically, people were subbing right when the channel was made, which isn't normal with channels. So they subbed before the channel was approved as a kid friendly channel, which Not happens with, ev channel. with every. Yeah. Well, yeah. before it was approved as one. Right. And so all the people who subbed before have this weird bug where it thinks they're stuck Soon in a kid friendly oh. channel. Oh. So oh. you have to you have to unhit the bell, refresh, and then re hit the bell. That's how you fix it. Stop like fucking poison. DMing me. Stop <laughs> fucking DMing me. You're I'm so so more sick of this shit. Well, That's hey, fair. I feel like if they're stuck inside the children YouTube dimension, they deserve to be mad. DM they're getting, YouTube! Because they're getting like Peppa Pig videos and That's shit. That's true. Also, if you want to DM anyone, DM at Aiden Calvin. <laughs> Calvin, yeah. Uh, you know, he actually is really interested in getting lunch with some of you, exchanging information. Oh, I have a new bit. That I, was the top comment. I, or it's not a new bit. This is the new shilling uh, thing. You go into the podcast and you read five-star reviews. 
Oh yeah. Whoa, have can you we do that? Yeah, because yeah, you're not allowed you're to just say reading, rate reading, my yeah, podcast dude. five stars, I but see. you can read out five so, star reviews. Real quick, I'm gonna go to the yard okay. and I'm gonna look and I'm gonna read a five star review. We are popping way more on Spotify than Apple Music. What's Absolutely. up with that? It's actually starting to even out now. Okay. No, Apple Music were like one thousand ninety seven well, and Spotify were like forty. Apple <laughs> Music is the wrong app. I think that's a different app. Oh, oh Apple so. Podcasts. This True. is a good one. Uh, it's easy for people this clouded up to start a podcast, but the yard is the real deal. Yeah, we're actually funny. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. also to be fair, <laughs> none of these fucks are clouded. I'm not clouded up. <laughs> yeah. None of them are. One guy is clouded. I will say, I will say, I uh, last you week you count as clouded. No, I think yeah. he, he doesn't have as many I'm followers clouded. as Prezzo. I have no oh, idea. Oh, way more. He's way more. Prezzo is really funny. Yeah, and Prezzo gets dumb, dumb interaction. Prezzo's is not clouded, all right? Prezzo you changing your opinion really on Prezzo person. is like the perfect exhibit of how you, <laughs> I how Prezzo. you evaluate. I Prezzo, Prezzo has 60.3K slime. Dude, we were talking for Prezzo like for 70, so right? long. 65. He's gonna be, he's gonna, his ego's gonna be so big. We're talking about him for so long right now. Prezzo? I have 7K more than Prezzo, and I have like 2,500 people blocked, which count as double followers. No, you don't. Obviously, that's true. Obviously. Obviously not. That's true. Uh, on the note, on the note of clouded up, I went to a, uh, I, w- I went, I went to a, uh, what's that coffee shop? Uh, Dutch Bros. Right. We don't have them around here. I was near one out in the desert area, and I went to one, and there was a guy there who was like, "You're, uh, you're Nick from the yard." Yeah. So that's nice. So fuck you, Aiden. I. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> fucking yeah. loser! This, yeah, <laughs> he's right. I had, a, I had a guy, I had a guy like me on Hinge who said that. So really? That, Ooh, wow. How did that? Right. What, what did you talk to him? He ran like a whole bit about how I'm the guy on the podcast that nobody likes in the pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> did you reply? I like this guy. I, I didn't. Remember that. I didn't. That, what if his pickup line was, "You could give me shingles"? Yeah, right. Ooh. It gives the nod that he knows without being overly bearing. But it's also meaning I want to touch your skin on my skin. Your rancid, horrible skin. Or, <laughs> or we talked about shingles. We said we would never do it again. No, well, well it's more like I actually to want to it. talk about it because on my subreddit, one of the top posts was merch idea, uh-huh. and it was the yard logo, and it was a blue yeah. sweatshirt in dark blue where the shingles were. Yeah, which was tasteful. A, a lot of people have have uh, have pitched the idea of a shingle shirt. Yeah, I sure. thought it was funny. I think it's funny to do commemorative merch on an illness you have. Like when I got my <laughs> appendix removed, if I was like appendix shirt. Drop, yeah, you know, I agree. I think that's good. If yeah, I ever fill or, my chest hole, I'll do chest hole shirts or like white shorts with a bunch of drops down the thighs to signify, you know, Dude, his what if, what if if he droopy, droopy, droopy. Oh, oh, my my gonorrhea <laughs> diaper, yeah. gonorrhea merch. It's just wanna, shorts with a paper, uh, like or a cartoon paper towel. Yeah, because that's what I did. <laughs> or we, we could do we oh, could do that. yard diapers. We, that would we rule. watched Goldmember the other day, it was last night, and he just keeps saying. Hey, a diaper lady. Here's my diaper. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Still holding Dude, on. Losing Austin Powers is so fucking funny. Accents are funny. So wait, real quick. Uh, we had a merch like brainstorm. It was me and Nick. Uh-huh. Just like, because you guys were gone. And we were just like in the fucking we zone. We were in the lab. Here, I'm going to leak one item that I think we okay. should do. And you haven't heard this and you haven't heard this. I haven't heard it. And I want to hear what you think. It's a license plate bracket. And it has like a cartoon like guy. Maybe it's like a circle. And okay. He's like, and he's got like gloves, and it just says, "I'd rather be." And then on the bottom, pulling my pud. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, wait, it's so like for a license plate. Yeah, you know, it's a you know when you go to like bracket. <laughs> you know when you go to like sports chalet, and it's like, "I'd rather be fishing." Yeah. yeah. Or what? It's one yeah. of those. But I'd it's rather pulling be pulling. My or it's like <laughs> Rocky Mountain <laughs> Subaru. Yeah. You know when you buy it. There. Pulling my pud is like just vague enough too that you could. You can kind of get away with it in public, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, you can't really put like pulling my cock. Do on you the remember back of your car. like there was that time that Cutie was wearing the shirt that just said "Come in me" on yeah. it, and she that wore was his. I know it was yeah. mine. She commandeered she it. She wore it to Target, but she had forgotten that <laughs> yeah. she wore it, and she kept getting like really weird looks, and she was like. Oh my fucking god! Like, and then she ran out of the store. I think yeah. she left right away without a hundred percent. She just left without yeah. getting what she's supposed to get. But pulling my pud like sits on the fence enough that you might be able to get away with what it. What it gets by is it gets by boomers because they won't get it, or maybe it no, doesn't. Boomers do oh, no, get it. no, yeah. that's the, boomers the problem. Won't get the boomers it? won't get if it. If boomers get it, that's the problem. The people most likely to be offended will because I wore come in me in Vegas without knowing. And some boomer and, was like, "What's come?" No, it was like a, it was like a, it was like a young <laughs> hip thirty year old woman in front of like the. Uh, the uh, like the beer station, and she's like, "I like that shirt because it's Vegas." <laughs> yeah, they can say whatever. I wore it in the best place on earth to wear. You it. wore it in the well, cesspool of North. The other America. day, our friend Mike, we're in the car driving, and he's like, "Yeah, I watched that last episode of the podcast." And he's like, "It was so fucking weird that none of you guys knew the term pud." 
And I'm like, you live in a town <laughs> where like so tumbleweeds weird. are a problem. Dude, he lives in a town. <laughs> that's not my. They have to so deliver him I don't water. <laughs> no, he doesn't live that. that okay, sure. Desert-y, but yeah, there's yeah, a desert I town was... where they have to like deliver water to like, you. you. Until <laughs> you said that, the not a single time in my life had I heard the word pud. You know, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? All right, so you know how I made the joke on the last episode where I was like, oh, pulling my pud. That sounds like a Primus lyric. Someone tweeted at me, and they were like, it is. Yeah. And they sent me the wow. the, the, the name of a Primus song and the lyrics, and it's, they literally say it in a Primus song. You probably also made that association. Because they have a song called "My Name Is Mud." Yeah, I think that's where it came you from. Because of "My Name Is Mud," I think it's why I said that. But uh, by the way, guys, we're we're figuring out what to do with this exclusive, dangerous. Well, content. here's the real question. Let us know because Slime called up his papa and oh, asked yeah. about the story of the origin. We, we were all hanging out, yeah. and he calls me, and then I'm like. Yo, hold on. I didn't answer, and I was like, "He was like, go get him something to record this." Go, yeah. and I'm like running, and so and, and he calls me, and I'm like, "Hey, Dad, what's up?" And uh, yeah, I just asked him immediately. Like, I'm like, I'm hanging out with a bunch of friends. Yeah, and I told them the story. I look, I didn't tell him I have a podcast. He kind of already knows. He's like, "Hey, you got any more uh, slime video? Like, you laugh at the monkey. You got any more <laughs> of the, the monkey video? He likes those. He that's all he's he's seen. That's great. But he he see the views and he's like, oh shit. All right. So I was like, I told my friends about that time you were uh, you were in an orgy when you were like seventeen. He's like, yeah, San Francisco. And he just starts telling me the whole story. I, at six Aiden minutes. Has, I showed Ludwig a little bit of it. Aiden hasn't heard any of it. And yeah. what, I'll, what I'll say, I'm not going to overhype it. I'm not going to overhype it. I listened to it. I was on the fucking floor He had to not laughing. laugh. Let us I, know I, if I you want to see it. Yeah. So We'll but, figure out a distribution method. Maybe, but uh, Maybe this is Patreon content. Yeah. That's what, you know what? Who knows? Who knows? The future is far away, but it's coming fast. It is coming uh, fast. Speaking of things you shouldn't do. Like, tell six-minute stories about an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing uh, you're on speakerphone with your son's friends. I'm going to ask if you guys have ever done this. You know how airplane bathrooms? Because I, I went on an airplane recently to hang out with Cutie's family. They uh, they do the suction thing when you flush. They yeah. suck your poop out, and they turn it into rocks that fall on your head. <laughs> what? Wait, from where? In <laughs> from the, the sky. Okay. Like, it falls. Okay. Right. If a rock ever falls in your head, probably poop. If a rock falls in your head, you die, but... No, it's like a small... Not like any rock. Because it breaks wow, apart. High. For sure. Let's be fiber. Anyway, there's a, a big sign right below it. I don't know if you guys know this. It says, do not sit while flushing. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait. Because it's going to suck you what? At, through like a cartoon? Well, Is it going to be like one of those, have you ever read one of those like pool horror stories of like someone putting their ass on the pool jet and then their like intestine gets sucked out or something? Uh, what? Have you ever yeah. read one of those? No. That, that sounds like, yeah. a, like a creepypasta. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. There's like this old story that used to get like reposted on like Reddit and 4chan a bunch and it was about <laughs> this kid who like, you know, would put his ass on the pool jet and then one day it's like he got stuck and it you know his Ew. his intestine inverted. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. A, it's, well, it's called a pink sock when you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not, it's called a medical emergency. It's called a prolapse anus, <laughs> and you great. die. Well, so I tried it. That's where the stories go. Okay. I sat on the plane. Wait, and did I was you like, see this warning? And you were like, "I'm going for it." Fucking make. What me. I did is I pissed sitting down. I got up, I flushed, and I saw the sign, and I sat back down. Yeah. And I said, yeah. "I'm going to do this so I have a story for the podcast." Yeah, you're a fucking king. Okay. So I think the what the future holds for us is that we sit on toilets and press a button, and it just sucks the shit out for us out of and our we don't butthole. Have to use our... Suck, it goes but up in our that, bubble. What yeah. Amon said happens. And then it goes into a yeah, sequence. It's going to be accidents. You know, like in the future when they send mail and it like goes through a tube, yeah. and it's like a montage. It's going to be like that. Like, but, but future bidets are going to do that and there's a button for top at the same time <laughs> <laughs> you just get, it's like it's it, in the old days of like shakespeare they thought there were four humors in your body like bile and like black bile and like blood and like in fago it's in fago and basically you're just sucking out all of the bad humors it's just like calm the shit the yeah. piss. anyway what happened so i did it first i was kind of scared right because I thought, like, it might suck me. I thought I'd get, like, circumcised or something. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. That's That'd be terrible. Pulls off the force. <laughs> That'd be weird. So first one I do, I'm, like, loose-legged. Like, there's air between, and it okay. pulls, and it just, like, tickles me a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second time, I go airtight. Yeah. Oh, shit. I put, I, like, I'm doing the goat formation. So I'm my getting, like, cock and balls are <laughs> And I squeeze I'm, my like, thighs tight. right now. And I, I, I squeeze them tight and I like lean in. I put all my pressure. Wow. I like seal everything. Why I use like TP that? to block everything. Well, let's see what happened. <laughs> Dude, what if it ripped your balls off? So I flush. Nothing. Just a little <laughs> tug. Like a gentle tug it gave on you the a balls. little tug though? A slight tug. Man. Uh, and I was, and I felt, I felt, well, I was like, whoa, <laughs> thank gosh. I do wonder if there's a responsibility of us to like tell people 
not to do things at in toilets. You should write under no, the sign. No, try it. It might harm your chest. Try it at stop. home. Let us know if you get hurt. Right under the sign and Sharpie on the wall. It's like, I did it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a sign. It says cap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Declaration of Independence for everyone who's done it. <laughs> it, it I did it. Eamon, you have been on probably more planes than any of us because of your pilot dad who, who loves Top Gun, the movie. Lo- really loves Top Gun. He loves that movie. Yeah, he does. He does. Loves That's it. his favorite so, movie. And he loves it so much. So what have you ever encountered this problem in a air, airplane bathroom? This the, the suction problem? Yeah. No, I, I don't feel think like I've you have a lot to say. He would never have been brave enough to sit I don't sit think I've pee. ever seen this sign. Have you ever pooped on a toilet in a, in a plane? Yeah, absolutely. How many times? Countless? Yeah. Have you uh, jerked off? Have you ever jerked off? <laughs> oh! <laughs> One time. Hey, me too. One, One time. time. Really? I, out, of the, out of the hundreds of flights, I've Up done it the, one the time. the Kyle High Club, is you, what I call it. <laughs> it was a really long flight. <laughs> How long? It was, a, it, it was nine hours. Who were you traveling with? No, I was alone. Imagine. It was my mom and dad. <laughs> you know, he would. No, I've traveled alone a lot. Like yeah, they're like, do you want, do you want cookies or pretzels? And yeah, just don't no, talk. No, because I was, I was doing the backlog on this. Like when, when you Sorry. brought up that conversation of like between you and your friends, like, oh, where's, where's like the weirdest place? And I was like, absolutely, the plane bathroom. Yeah, and it, uh, only once. It, what, what? Wait, okay. What airline? Uh, it was. I think it was Lufthansa. Wait, bro. That, what is, is that, that a real bro? thing? You made that up? I think no. it's a bar of soap. Is that a no, Pokemon? Lufthansa is like the biggest German airline. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Lufthansa, these nuts. Is this a setup? <laughs> Imagine he gets us. <laughs> that would be crazy. He, 90 minutes later, he's just like, oh, by the way, <laughs> Lufthansa this day. The reason I did mine, it was my first first class flight. And you were just like into yourself? Wait, this was Wait, like three years this ago. Is not... This was like a couple so years ago. So you're like, what's the classiest thing I could do with this ticket? <laughs> you're like, dude, you're like Patrick Bateman. I did. You're like, you're like pointing at yourself in the mirror while you're having sex. <laughs> I, I was you like, know what's just, funny? I, I, I basically again. did it for the exact opposite reason. I kept I'm staring like, at my ticket I'm like jerking off. I'm in like a sardine in economy, like sleeping. Yeah. And I'm like, and I, I, I'm hard and it will not go away. Like no matter what I do. I'm, no, this is like two years ago, <laughs> and it, it, it just and it just yeah, won't go away. Too. And I'm like, dude, I can't I can't deal oh with this because I either have to keep my legs crossed for the rest of this flight, and, or like risk like the dude who is centimeters away from me seeing this. Dude, just, and do, just, just like, do a healthy up tuck. Huh? No, no, no. Sitting down up tuck. You don't understand how long I waited. This is like yeah. we're talking I like guess, yeah, sixty. Like minutes. I get yeah. rando boners on, on cars and, all the time and planes sometimes, so I feel you. And, and I, I'm like, I I have to I. Uh, just, we have the, to get the job the done. Up tuck, where your pants are actually just down and it's under your shirt. Well, yeah, that's the thing. So if you up tuck but you're sitting, any movement that kind of brings your shirt that's so up, risky. you're gonna see it. Dude, that's that, so risky. I want to be yeah, up tucked. That's, and that's also something I've, as a bit. I've never tucked in my life be, because of that risk. Yeah, I've never well, understood. So what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to tuck under the pants, then pull your underwear above the tip, and then shirt over all that. Dude, dude. You I, know what the like you know a, what, like a you know what people don't ghost? what people yeah. don't talk to about is like as it fades away. You, you sort of have the drawbridge effect where it sweet, <laughs> <Draw bridge. laughs> and, and it sort of falls back down. Drawbridge. And there's... Lower the bridge! It starts looking bad again. Eamon's 12-inch so. medieval cock. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my friend in freshman biology one time, we had this bit where we would run, usually outside of school. No one had done it at school before, where you would you would flash your nutsack to your friend in class. <laughs> yeah, the or, bubble sorry, gum. In class. Yeah, well, it, bubble gum, like Batman, all these different things. Right. You, do, right? you know what the I hate about wing. this, by the way, is that this is happening in school and not a fucking thing has changed for you. What are you talking about? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> wait, what do you, wait, what do you mean? He's still doing that today. He's still oh, yeah, doing yeah, this yeah. today at 31 about? years so, old. So, no, it was man. usually a bit you would run like when you're hanging out at your friend's house or like party or whatever. Uh, my friend decides to do it in biology. So I'm sitting in class and uh, my friend like makes a noise to like motion me. And I look over and he has his nutsack out of the side of his shorts. <laughs> and I start laughing my yeah. ass off because I'm like, whoa, this environment, that's the hardest bit of all time. <laughs> this environment, that ball sack. And then, and then the teacher rounds the corner. And Ooh. sees his nutsack no. hanging out of his shorts, and he goes like, <gasps> and she, she, she like goes, oh. <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh my god! I look down, I'm like, I like put my head down, and then he gets kicked out of class, and he was suspended from school. Good, dude. It was I was that like, teacher oh, no. must have seen that and thought, dude, I'm gonna get like a like a felony. <laughs> yeah, right. I just saw like a little kid's ball sack. I'm just trying to teach biology. What I'm imagining right now, have you guys ever seen 
Twilight, like the movie. Yeah. yeah. I actually haven't. You know the scene where she walks into the into the biology room for the first mm-hmm. time and he like sees her? I'm picturing that scene, <laughs> but you walking in and then catching your friend's <laughs> nutsack. <laughs> I, I, it, though, when you teed that up, I was thinking about Edward Cullen and he sees her for the first time. He's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's this, and she's just like, <laughs> there's this really, really shitty movie that came out, uh, like fucking like 12 years ago, something called Taint Light. It, it's in that era. <laughs> what? It's in that era of like shit parody movies, like epic movie. Oh. And, like, yeah, and, uh, Is it it's, a softcore it's a, porn? No, it's a Twilight parody. But it's oh, just like wait. with like it's like a hundred thousand dollar budget shit tier actors like no one you know in the movie. Ton of views. That sounds like a bit that would be in that movie. That's like that's. Are like you the, talking about vampires suck? No, it's called, it's called Taint Light. That's what it's called. There's two Twilight parodies. There's oh, probably sure. actually, actually more. way yeah. more. Yeah. There's way more. It was a cultural reset, as they Dude, say. On the whole class thing, I have one more of those. Yeah. In eighth grade, I'll never fucking forget this. So everyone remembers that the shock site blue waffle, right? Right. Yeah. So if you're under the age of eighteen, uh, please do not look that up. If you're over, you know, have fun. So in eighth grade, I was in um, pre-algebra, and we were playing this game where the class gets divided into two loser. sides of the room. Okay, what, <laughs> Not you, even what, algebra. You were in eighth grade in pre-algebra? Yeah. Hold it up. Wait, what is That's that for stupid kids. You're stupid. <laughs> pre-algebra? <laughs> stupid kid. You learn algebra in, like, yeah, the sixth eighth grade. Eighth grade is geometry, bro. Seventh grade's algebra. Wait, all right? eighth grade? I, we didn't have geometry Ninth in Ninth grade school. calculus, 10th grade trigonometry, 11th maybe, grade, I'm done with Maybe I math. was algebra one, but I think I was pre-algebra. No, man, you're probably pre-algebra one. Yeah, you're, you're pre-algebra, bro. Shit. You're fucking you stupid. You guys had geometry at your middle school? So you were, yeah. so you were, <laughs> yeah, in, your, you were in your school class where everyone was wearing a helmet. This guy do shapes. Yeah. <laughs> I did trig in freshman year. Is that normal? Your brain looks and, like a marble. And there's like <laughs> and there's like big triangles right. on the wall. So I was in the yeah, gifted okay. class for geniuses, and we're playing this game where we get divided into two sides of the room, and then you both have team names, and you do like a question like whatever and the teacher was like oh like left side of the what do you guys want your name to be and they're like oh the fucking whatever and she's like okay right side uh, what do you guys want yeah. to be and my friend my friend christian goes the blue waffles and everyone starts laughing and she's like oh that's fun okay and she writes blue yeah. waffle Aww. up on the board and everyone's just l- losing their mind all it's the like guys. a legends of the hidden temple this team. is like the one class that sound like, like a good every name. skater in the school was in the same class and it was just fucking mayhem because yeah, it's pre algebra bro and- <laughs> 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 it's too busy smoking weed bro <laughs> hey of course you have the how fucking how is he able to walk so bro. good bro <laughs> i can't believe he figured out left after right <laughs> anyway so uh and so everyone's laughing, and she's like, uh, why are you guys laughing? Why are you guys laughing? And my the same friend, Christian, goes, look it up. Dude. Dude no. and, then, and everyone goes, <laughs> and stops laughing. Yeah, that's and she goes, like, what do you anymore. mean? And so uh, we had, like, the projector board at the school where, like, right. the computer, the teacher's computer is projecting onto the board. Yeah. And she just raw Googles it. <laughs> and it has the preview up, like, for images. Yeah. And then she clicks on the image tab. because The she preview assumes, would be confusing. Yeah, because she assumes that, like, it's a thing that she can, like, blue waffles or whatever and then it just pulls up in fucking 4k in front of everyone and dude, that's she, lit she slams the shit closed it was heads down the rest of the class heads detention down. like seven people didn't show up to school the next day <laughs> what? it was insane it, it was like a hit list wow <laughs> yeah i was terrified did he get outed no one no one ratted wow no that's pretty ratted. lit that no yeah. one ratted surely someone rats after hours most schools people do love to rat by the way, that reminded me. I think I've told this before, but when 9-11 happened, and that's – so, okay. In the Good Discord, transition. <laughs> hey, and that's our that, Coinbase transition that. of the day. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't bring Coinbase into that one. <laughs> Listen, in, in the Discord that we have to, like, coordinate shit for this podcast, we have a channel called Topic Dump. It's like if we were reminded of something, we just put it in there. We have, like, stuff to talk about. <laughs> the last one in there I wrote, it just says September 11th. <laughs> and I'd forgotten why it said that until just now oh when i was i'm old right i'm 31 so super old when i was it when i was 12 when i was 12 in the 70s <laughs> when i was 11 years old it was september 11th <laughs> yeah and a lot of time you know what's funny is like, was it in black and white <laughs> yeah it's crazy i was like the fire looks so real <laughs> and and but yeah the, like you guys, a lot of, man, your audience just actually doesn't remember it because they were literally like one year old. No shot, yeah. But I was 11 years old and I was in sixth grade and uh, 9 11 occurs, right? That's pretty crazy. And so we all got to go back to homeroom and we're all like kind of like shuffled in. We don't really know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. We have phones, like that kind of shit. And uh, we're all sitting down and our homeroom teacher is like really somber looking. He's got to break the, the news that these kids will never forget for the rest of their life, right? We're sitting there, and this fucking girl, Lauren, 
who is a grade ahead. Oh, anybody? She's in your class. Mm-hmm. She's in my homeroom. She's supposed to be in fifth grade. Yeah, dumbass. So she's smart. Is actually <laughs> definitely the- not pre-algebra for sure. <laughs> okay. well, she raises yeah. her hand. Honors. So he goes, Lauren, and she says. Did terrorists attack the World Trade Center today? <laughs> she just spoils it for him. She ruined 9-11 for yeah. all of us. <laughs> and everyone goes, oh! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the teacher quietly puts away his sock puppets. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I worked on this yeah, for so that's, long. That's what happened. And it was, and I, 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 at the time, it was like, yeah, we just want to figure out what's going on. But now, looking back, I was like a, a thing that changed the entire world. I was like, she ruined 9-11. She did spoil. For all of us. He Johnny, would have said it in Johnny a raised way. his hand. Well, actually, I saw a movie called Zeitgeist, and what actually happened <laughs> it's like i just came out an hour after and, and so i actually i because i remember telling you the story and then I, I like uh i reached out to her so i found her on oh, facebook shit. i haven't when? talked to her in like you know i think she like went to a different school or something and i messaged her and i was like hey what's up this is gonna sound really weird and i was and do you remember when we were in like mr whatever's class and you raise your hand and you talked about 9 11 before he got to and she's like, no, I don't. I was like, well, you kind of ruined it for me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, what? It? But I was what like, a psychopathic I was like, thing to tell her. I was like, LOL. Oh, save. Oh, salvage. Yeah, bro. And she thought it was funny. And so yeah. it was fine. But yeah. That is so. funny she didn't remember. You should ask other people from the class if they remember. I should. You should ask the teacher because he's probably like, oh, yes. Google, yeah, probably an interview. So it was a harrowing mad. moment oh, for me. That was his moment. That yeah. was his one moment. That was his Joker moment. <laughs> Wherever he is right now, he's wearing makeup. He's not teaching. He's doing meth on the street next to the school. He's putting lipstick on. Like, I fucking, I'm the getter, dude. One, yeah. Uh, one of the craziest things that uh, Ken ever told me at work. So, uh, Hot Bid, as a lot of people might know him, Ken uh, Ken. worked at works at yep. Beyond the Summit, Older and than me. Uh, with you know, formerly with me and Anthony, and currently with Nick. And he was at NYU. He had just started at NYU. Uh, a few weeks before. It oh, that's happened. in New York. New yeah. York, your, your anniversary. Yeah. And he tells like this really somber story of you know him, his parents being worried about him moving to the city on his own, and then him being there for like two weeks, and then nine eleven happening. And he was also street. like, "It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine, yeah. guys. You're freaking out." And then like <laughs> the terrorists. Yeah. So the then worst he looks around. And he's like, "Mr. Krabs, me." Like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be fine. And, uh, yeah, the the way because because Ken is usually this really like you know funny guy and and he's always joking like about he's everything a he's bit telling of some you. Sort. Yeah, it's always a joke of some kind. And it's the first thing he ever told me where I was like, damn, this is actually really like harrowing. Yeah, he's a human being when it comes to either nine eleven or uh, atomic bombs. Wow. You know, you know what Ken told me <laughs> uh, yesterday too. or today actually was uh so he showed all of his friends our podcast. And, uh, but it was a bunch of friends that like don't know like anything about the space or, oh, okay. or anything. And he said, one of these people is famous. <laughs> who, who do you think that they unanimously decided that was? Me. I, me, the bald guy. Wait, one of these is famous? What do you mean? Like they said, he said to his friends who don't know any of us, like one of the people on the show is famous. Oh. Which one of them is it? And then who and do I, you? And they unanimously chose one person. It was me, the bald guy. No, they must have gone four for four on young coots. Was it my <laughs> thick thigh episode? Because if I let the thighs rock... Oh, it's gonna be. You know him, what I hate bro. about you? It's is gonna because be I, I, I was about to say you. I was about to say you, yeah. and then you ruined it Y'all by talking about don't your know thighs. What's up. It's about you, bro. Why did they think it was you? I don't know. Maybe it's my. Because <laughs> he didn't look like he could get through the rest of the world without <laughs> being famous, dude. <laughs> Dumbass as he is, bro. <laughs> dude, what are we doing? What are we talking about? Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 hey! No, no, no! I, I mean, thought we were. This oh. is me and him. Yeah, I thought we were doing a thing. Uh, I that. See, I read the room because I've always been jealous of Nick we because hugging. his mom Audio let listeners. him swear. I often think like Nick turned out pretty well for someone who it seems didn't have to ever experience consequence. Well, not entirely well. I went back home um, this week and my uh, my mother asked me to like clean some of my stuff out of my old room. And I went through some of my old things and I actually have one of them here. I want to show you guys. <gasps> oh, uh, I found he brought this props. In my room. He's fucking carrying top now. I had this in my room. Okay. This it, is a picture. It's, it's just, vertically inclined. This was some of my art. It's like two you foot by eight clown? inches. I didn't make it. No. It, but oh. it was this in my, is gross. It was in my stack of things. I want to know what you guys that was thought in of it. It is an ugly, yeah. hideous looks, clown. I'll be honest, Nick. It looks racially charged. Wow. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you got a racist yeah. clown, bro. So you were a racist kid who got to swear. <laughs> no, I wasn't a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this clown looks like the clown of the opening scenes of Batman. Like, it's I, about to rob it and murder. Creepy. I'd, I think it's cool. Hide this. 
Oh. I'd put it away. I would not tell people about that. That's for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I was. Bro, it's not I your birthday mine, anymore. Dude. I can tell you. you it's not. I was that. kidding. Yeah. Uh, it's officially I, well, not no, your that's birthday. Cool. I also think it's lame. Yeah. So. Speaking of racist, I got a great news story about Matt Damon. Can we go like oh. bip, 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 bip. <laughs> breaking news? News with Ludwig Anders in the morning. In the morning. This, Do you hear about this? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This so is so <laughs> it's so funny. Wait, how is that? That's not racist. So it's not racism. No. It has anything to do with racism. Well, kind of is. You know, kind of. Does it kind of? I think all <laughs> all bigotry has its place in hell. All <laughs> <laughs> I was I was really worried that that was going to stop at the word place. I was, I was I was like please keep the sentence there going. There is only keep two words that you can follow that up with. <laughs> so Matt Damon, I look at my note for this. Wait. It's Matt. It's on. Matt. Why would you He's, use this hand okay, emoji? Like, Ludwig is showing well, it's a he, gigantic note. It on says his Matt iPhone. Damon, and then it's the F slur, and then it's waving. I, I bleeped it out on my own phone. <laughs> yeah, he didn't type he didn't it bleep out. It I didn't type it out. I felt weird typing. That's how he calls a cab. Hey. <laughs> Well, no, respect. actually, so like Matt Damon, I guess he's from Boston, which means you say the F slur a lot, you know, yeah. the, the homophobic yeah. one. And you might be racist. And you might be racist. You might you might beat an Asian man till he's blind. Uh, Mark Wahlberg <laughs> style. Is Mark, Mark Wahlberg from Boston? Yeah. Oh. Mark, yeah. Mark yeah. What are they putting in the dark? Yeah, that track just record over didn't there, get man. caught. Dude, I'm they gone. got rid of the T and then they like, oh, like popped off and they were like, we cannot be touched. <laughs> Uh, anyway, he he was just dropping that slur in his home, like in front of his family, until his daughter was like, "You can't say that," and he was like, "Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why, Matt Damon? Oh, come on, you know it's just a joke, bro." She goes like, to her room, writes a manifesto on how he shouldn't, and then he's like, "So I dropped it." <laughs> yeah, and I, the news article was like, "Yeah, he recently stopped a few months like, ago." Yeah, which that's is crazy. crazy. No, th th and he's coming. the The crazy part is that. He comes to the press and tells them this. He told them which, that! Which means, I learned what which, to do! Which means in his head, he's like, yeah, I figured this it's out. It's not a big deal. Dude, the TM like question, the TM question, hey, uh, any stories? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about my daughters. <laughs> so, not, he's like not a Jimmy rope, Fallon. Not to rope my family into this, but my, the only celebrity I think my dad has ever met is Matt Damon. Really? Yeah. Really? He flew in first uh in first class on the on the plane that my dad flies. Right. And then they talked for a while after the flight. And he's just like, What do you I was like, what do you guys talk about? And uh he's like, We just talked about our kids the whole time. Yeah. So, you know, very normal parenty stuff. Yeah, yeah. I hope my Wait, daughter does doesn't Damon, grow up to be it, gay. It, 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 does Matt Damon have like sons? Matt Damon's quotes. No, I, I think, think he, he has, has daughters. Only, he has like he has all three or four yeah. infamously. It's funny, Matt Damon using that word a bunch in his house is like there's a Simpsons episode where Homer joins uh like the gun club. And he just has his pistol and he just like uses it to like shut off the TV and like <laughs> yeah. open beers and shit. And he has his gun friends over like, Homer, this is wrong. You're doing it wrong. And he's like, what? It's like, it's like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, my dad also once met a celebrity. Uh, well, he talks a lot about David Bowie. He met David Bowie and like says that he rules. He was like in his limousine. That's, That's a good one. And like, yeah, because yeah. my dad's like a musician and it like says that he hung out with Bowie. But one time he said he met Vince Vaughn and he Vince Vaughn was like. <laughs> Playing in a, he was like playing table games in a casino. And my dad's a casino rat, and he would, he went up to him, and he's like, "So this is what I did. I know, I, I had just read in an article where he like went to school, and he went to school in like somewhere near where I did. So I pretended that I was in his graduating class and went to his <laughs> school. So I went up to Vince Vaughn, and like, oh, you're from the, uh, you know, like Chicago, uh, whatever, right? And Vince Vaughn li lights up, and they end up hanging out for like three hours. What a strat. Wow. At and, some point, you got to yeah, tell him, you, though. You, at some point, you're going to get cracked. So That's here, called social engineering. So here's what happened. My dad, he's like, so we're hanging out. We're just talking and stuff. And he's like, you know, talking about what. And they're all, they're both old. So it's like maybe they, they did bond over some shit. My dad's just like fucking lying to this celebrity. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so how, how it ends the night is he's like, so yeah, uh, you know, Vince Vaughn, he's like, tell me, he's like, hey, you want to come up to my, my hotel room? You know, I got like some blues and some girls and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And I go up with him. And then he goes into his hotel room. And there's like a bodyguard in front, and Vince Vaughn walks in, the door shuts, and then the bodyguard's like, "Damn, yeah, he gets left what? behind." Yeah, it's that's Was he how not like, "Yo, Vince, your bodyguard just said no." Yeah, but but what I'm thinking is maybe my dad just kind of followed him. Yeah, that's and, probably and it. It, they didn't go together. And also, yeah. this guy wasn't Vince Vaughn, dude. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. You, f I, at my first ever Smash Evo, I sat down at a table with Lovage, Oscar. 
who is like a pretty big commentator. I've never told this story to anyone but Aiden. And uh, <laughs> and and we're playing, and I'm having the time of my life because I'm like a huge Smash fan. I'm a nobody in the scene. I'm just in Arizona. Yeah, you're like short. You're stupid. Lovage, Lovage is just like a really cool guy too. Yeah, like he gives off. He's very, very chill, cool. very likable. He made Berserker, and dude. he's the he's the type of guy <laughs> that's who awesome. You you would want to like you. He's yeah, he's the type of guy that yeah. in person would also come off like really cool. Come on, yeah. Slime. And, Dude, where like many smashers would be lame. Yeah. So we sit down at this table, we're having a good time, or at least I'm having a great time. And he's like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna leave tables. And I'm like, oh, I'll come too. And we go to a different table and we're playing there, probably like an hour or two total, right? And then he's like, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And I was like, oh, I'll go to the bathroom too. My friend's with me. And he's like, nah, man, you just like let him go to the bathroom. And I'm like, all right. He's like, yeah, don't worry, man. I'll be right back. Never comes back. Yeah, I get fucking owned. Yeah. No. He never came back. Did he take his controller? He, he took everything. Oh, he's not going to the bathroom. He's not going to the bathroom. Dude, he just ditched your He ditched me because I was a loser following him around. Dude, before... That rule. Before, yeah. before we're too far away from the dad meeting celebrity thing, my dad also once met a celebrity. Okay. Uh, my dad met Jackie Chan. <laughs> Holy at shit. At a wow. marketing conference. And this is how that <laughs> went. So my dad... So Jackie Chan is like is like pushing some product or something at a marketing conference. It's like his like foundation or whatever. <laughs> what and uh, my dad's there. And he uh, he tells me this whole story. So my dad comes home one day with an Xbox 360, and he has it in box in his hand. He goes, "I got you an Xbox." And That's I'm like lit. freaking out. I'm like, "Oh fuck, I got an Xbox! Holy shit!" And so he, he sets it down and he tells me how he met Jackie Chan. And he's like, "Yeah, I was at this marketing conference, and Jackie Chan. I don't really know why, but they were selling Xboxes." And I'm like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah, so I bought one because they were like really this. They were like a hundred dollars cheaper than what they are normally." And I'm like, "That's awesome!" And you met Jackie Chan. What the, tell me about that. He's like, "Yeah, yeah." I went up. I said hi to him, all this stuff. And then I'm like, "Oh, well, I mean, cool, whatever. Fuck that. I want to fucking play with this Xbox." So I go and I open up the box, and it's just Jackie Chan books in the box. So for one, he got scammed, and two, I learned my dad's a racist guy who just did not meet Jackie Chan. And he just met oh. some guy, probably. Was it actually right? Jackie Chan books, I, To though? this day, I will never know. That's a good because question. Because he got sold up an Xbox 360 box with a bunch of Jackie Chan biographies in it. <laughs> but they were Jackie Chan biographies. Yes. They and were. He, he bought it thinking it was an Xbox. Yes. He bought it being told it was an Xbox. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. And there's yeah. no way that it happened. Was just, no, it was, actually, shot, it was right? definitely Jackie Chan. Dude, it was definitely some Jackie Chan. <laughs> it, was just, no. it was like a Jackie Chan impersonator for yes, sure. Yes, 100%. There's no way Jackie Chan <laughs> on his so hustle much, Russell was trying to make 150. It's so much funnier if he can go back and confirm somehow that it actually was Jackie Yeah, Jackie Chan, Chan trying my, to make a book. First, I'm disappointed because there's no My Xbox books aren't selling like, well. Second, Chan I'm like... What happened to you? <laughs> how did this? How, did how was, am I here with this? You used to be so cool, <laughs> <laughs> dude. One time I was uh, I was on a date and I was it was actually the same time I went and got, saw Star Wars and it was in downtown. I remember the I, original like, Star Wars, nineteen seventy nine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. They had lightsabers. <laughs> you know what those were? It, and like the guy was there, he was clapping and shit. I was fucking incensed. But <laughs> but we were walking around downtown L. A. And uh, we passed by this guy who's like, he was selling CDs on the corner. Again, a boomer, right? It is me. This is like a couple years ago. And he's like, he's selling CDs. He's like, hey, this is a new uh, Tarantino soundtrack. Like, the, this, this is the, the soundtrack to the new movie that has not come out yet. Oh, and he's shit. like, he's wow. like selling it on the corner. Well, I, I thought he was giving them away. This was actually so dude, embarrassing. This, this, is, is, this no. is the oldest trick in the yeah, book. Yeah, this is, you got fucked. And he's like, he, dude, I hate this guy because he was like, yeah, uh, and he's like handing it out, and I'm like, yeah, I'll take one, and I grab it, and then I, I keep walking, and he's like, and he looks at me, he's like, you gonna pay for that? Like an asshole, and I'm in front yeah. of this girl, and I'm like, uh, uh-oh, and yeah. I'm like, uh, how much? And he's like, 10 bucks, I'm like, yeah, and then <laughs> yeah. I do it, and I look like a total fucking- Dude, I've done the same thing. Dude. I was walking into a Best Buy, they pull up on a car, and they and they go, hey, and I'm like, what's up? And they're like, hey, you want my mixtape? And I was I was like, yeah, I mean, I get, yeah, I'll have it. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be a it's dick. It's hard to say no. So I grab it, and then he holds it while I'm holding it, and he's like, "Come on, you're not gonna pay me." And then I'm like, I'm like, this is the oldest trick in the I'm book. like, oh, and they basically just forced you out of sheer embarrassment. They embarrass to you. pay. They they use the power of shame to get your money. The thing from is, you. if you know about it, you'll never do it, right? But if you've never experienced it, you'll just feel shame. So you, and you, pay. you just, you just you walk around. 
You just walk around with your mixtape in your back pocket. When he goes, you want you want mixtape? It's like you want mine. It's just <laughs> Perry. <laughs> right, nowadays, you could be like, yeah, what's the Spotify? And it'll be like, no, I got a physical. And I'll be like, relax, boomer. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. All right, but don't fall for that. I will say, I walked in the Best Buy. They go, are you okay? Like, what what happened there? I was like, no, it was a friend. <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't. Even admit. I didn't want to seem like a bitch in front you know, of the people. You know, that's that's how Riff Raff got his first rise. He, really? He was hustling mixtapes at the mall like that. Yeah. Yeah. He and made it. He's so. a huge artist. It now. can work. That's like saying, you know, the people in Twitch chat who plug their channel in random streams. <laughs> one like, dude. Like that guy one now? Dude, like, hey, that Dr. guy. Dr. Lupo. Yeah, yeah you, might not, <laughs> you might not have heard of him. I do <laughs> wonder Dr. who is the most. You might know this, Ludwig. Who is the most, like, the, the Twitch streamer that is big now that had the most shameless start? I mean, there's a, there's a few shameless people. I mean, like, even Mizkiff to an extent. Yeah, that's true. You know? He saw shit uh, when the camera was off and he was with Ice. Starting bro. from filming Ice Poseidon is, is like, that's that's shameless. You know, it's like, but he's made it a long way since then, you know. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, he's got a cover for he's his good, fucking he's good. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's good. No, <laughs> yeah, for yeah, sure. he's a cover for him, too. You got the fucking <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't know if there's shit. anyone that's like. Hey, sweater's going to be on he sale probably, soon. Probably, probably dead body. The answer is probably Greek God X. Really? Yeah, because he would actually just stream snipe people. Oh, like in games? Yeah. Okay. Like Damn. he would stream snipe soda popping and then Tyler won. And then from stream sniping became big. And was, was, I fucking got was he you. like better than them? You no, are. he was terrible. Oh. He was just kind of funny in the mic. He just had an accent. He was just, I see. I he see. was incessantly annoying, but yeah. like, you know, some people in stream liked him because he was fine, funny. I guess. And he gets there. He got there. You 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 watch a lot of Greek growing up. Greek? I remember the old old yeah. house when you just when you weren't even like when old you worked, Greek? like your job and stuff. You would just be eating cereal like at night, watching Greek just on your phone. He was uh, he was a forerunner because uh, right now there's no meta on Twitch. There's no games to play. Bro. Seems like people are kind of trying to figure out how to play uh, Apex Legends, and uh, <laughs> and Greek would it would right now only the only thing that's actually popping off is reacting, and that's what Greek did like two three years and ago. And is about to bring that down. Yeah, he is about to destroy reacting. You hear about this? Oh, he's doing the. Uh, he's fighting the Olympics. Yeah. He's he got a DMCA fighting for claim. for fair use or something, right? Because he had the Olympics on stream, and he's fighting for fair use. Wait, Whoa. is that what it was? Yeah. Is it, it was the Olympics? I, I believe it's the Olympics, yeah, that he got a, a, a strike for. Okay, so he's actually going to push back. That's pretty <sighs> he's crazy. He's actually fighting it. A couple facts that I didn't realize. One, his lawyer is the video game attorney. Yes. Oh, okay. Whose name is Morrison, who we use. Yes. Who we pay exorbitant amounts to. What's funny about this is he's the same lawyer that H3H3 used, Ethan, um, oh, and they, when, oh they, when he won his case? No. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? When he started his case, and then he dropped that lawyer because he was like, nah, he's not cutting it. I will say I read that thread, and I was like, do we have the wrong guy? That's what I thought, too. <laughs> and I was like, what dude, do we I do? almost DM'd you, and I was like, bro, what's going on I here, Dude, I thought bro. the same thing. Let's just say this. Uh, would you rather trade in the lawyer we have, Ludwig, for someone who has a billboard? Oh, dude! But if it's like a funny billboard, right? Yeah, like a sick billboard. Oh, like lawyer. like Sweet James. Yes, you, <laughs> you know what Sweet you guys should, James, you know what you, bro. You guys should dude, do. Why is it just Sweet James? Just drive down, uh, like just pick a highway in SoCal, yeah, and just like get a pool of the people that come up on billboards for like car insurance cases, yeah. And then just roll a dice, pick one. That's your guys' no, new you lawyer. No, okay. all of them, and they battle royale. The battle royale. Sick idea. Make a new Twitch channel. And, and only really advertise illegal. it on billboards. This happened. Uh, this happened to me. Literally. What? I was in. I was in LA, and I went to this bagel spot, and I was walking on the street eating my bagel, and I see on a billboard there's an ad for a Twitch stream. It's like a super fucking small stream. The ad looks like shit. They obviously made it themselves, like in yeah. paint, but they somehow got the funds to go to make a billboard. Right. And I was like, one. How cheap are billboards? Two, we should do a billboard. We How hype would that be? We should do a billboard. I'm do a billboard. Do a billboard? I've called before, so it depends. Obviously, there's some billboards that yeah, it's, it's like variable, estate, right? But the cheapest billboards you can get are city park billboards. Oh. So like city park benches yeah, have like yeah. little billboards do on park them. Park bench Ludwig ad. Yeah. You know what we should do? We should get a random billboard, and whoever finds it gets our merch for free. Ooh! If Wait, you, if find you, it, sit, you find sit, you find it, take a picture with it. Sit yeah, on the bench, take a picture. And we don't it. give. We only take a picture of the billboard. No context. Oh, that's not a bad idea. And it idea. can be in like Iowa. Billboard marketing is just kind of funny now. Yeah, it's well, it's funny because the marketing is not from the billboard. It's from the YouTube video you make buying a billboard. Oh sure, I guess. Well, well billboard, billboards fucking work. That's for influencers, but like yeah. no, I sometimes I'll drive, dude. There was one. All the lawyer ones are crazy, but it literally said like 
I attorney, like lowercase I, like an iPod. Oh, right? yeah. And they're trying to like, use, everyone dude, uses that. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I'm like, someone is driving and they're like, huh, like the iPhone. I'm going to call that guy. <laughs> I and think I'm like, I want to kill myself. That's crazy that that would work. <laughs> yeah. I want to know the the percent. I want to know how many calls they get. It'd be insane. Sort of like, Dude, uh-huh. I had to explain. So I hung out with Cute and her family and they had like a family friend. I had to explain a man crypto for the first time in my life. No. Yeah. Because nope. he was like, you "What are you investing?" Crypto, in? dude, dude. At the I family had to event? explain crypto. And the worst dude, part, and you're not even, dude, you're the, you're family adjacent. This is the worst thing ever. So he's like, he just because he's a he's a, he's a real estate guy, and uh, and so we're talking. He's like, "What are you investing in?" And I have to explain to him not only Pokemon boxes, right? Not only Pokemon cards, but I go through crypto, which I'm not that crazily invested into. But he knows nothing. <laughs> so I'm like working through, like, yeah, there's Bitcoin and like the how Ethereum. old is he? He's not like that old, but he literally is a boomer beyond belief for his age. He's never seen a Disney movie. Okay. okay. I know. That's, that's, I know. That's not He's even a boomer, right? Guy. But here's, culturally here's the weird part. While I'm explaining this, I'm at a Starbucks. A viewer comes up. No. Yeah, he was hovering the whole time, right? Because he like walked in and made a face at me and he did this. And I was like, oh, no. And then I, I continue talking, explaining it. He's like in line, like more than like not, not more than five feet, listening to every word of me explaining crypto. He leaves. He goes for a fist bump. And then he was in my chat today. Jacob shouts out, all right, on the DL, you know what was up, but uh, no narcs. Alpha Rab was there. That's so no narcs. weird. Yeah, wait, so wait, he wait, heard wait. me have to explain to a boomer crypto in all my investments. You were his lovage. I was, but there was no bathroom. Well, to escape yeah, to. there was no bathroom to escape that time. Wait, how did he respond to you describing that it's digital money now? And he's like, yeah. "Oh, did you so just, did does it, it click at some point?" Yeah, because well, you're not really, I just glaze over. Uh, yeah, it's it's I I I don't get it. <laughs> I I don't know why. Dude, nothing will make you feel like more of a dumbass than trying to explain crypto. Yeah, being deemed the guy who knows the most about it. Right, and then like. And I don't know. know. You're like knowing. Yeah. You're like, they're like, yeah, you can mine it. They're like, what, what's mining? Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, blockchain. So, so. Dude, I, dude, I was like, I was trying to explain how blockchain on Ethereum is better, but I don't know why. It's like, so, gra- <laughs> so it's like, there's a graphics card involved, and like, yeah. it, it makes money. So like, if you want to play like uh, Crisis, right? Yeah. yeah. Crisis. I'm, Wait, dude, I'm. Still no, I think confused. I heard of that one. <laughs> I'm still confused because I like, I, I follow Phase Banks, and he'll post his NFTs, and he'll be like, just sold my punk. Man, NFT. I don't get it. 500K. No. And I'm, no, he's dead ass. No and I'm way. like, I, I, I don't wandering. get this. So, no, but what you can do in that situation <laughs> is because. Clan being a drug front <laughs> this whole time. Yeah, duh. Because <laughs> if they don't know what you're talking about, yeah. then you can say whatever you want. Right. And so you should have taken that opportunity <laughs> to fuck with this guy and be like, so he's like, what's Bitcoin? All right. So it's like every time. <laughs> so, you know, Jeff Bezos, every time George Soros <laughs> kills a person in real life, right. their blood gets turned into money <laughs> on, on the Internet. Yeah. And then you trade that. They put it into a mold and then they hate it. <laughs> yeah. That's when a coin is minted or uh, as some people say, mine. Yeah, favorite. the coin exists. It's just in a different country. It's in Geneva. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite crypto. uh uh, legend is of our friend Eric who uh, we went to the same college and he was in the architecture department which uh, they have their own building and you have a key card and you can go in 24 hours anytime you want you can enter this building and you can use it um, so he left a second computer he had r- mining dogecoin back when dogecoin was a meme 24 hours for all four years he was at college just yeah. under his desk one day he wakes up he's got all this fucking doge and he's just like oh cool hype and then Doge blows up. Yeah. And he's got a shit ton of yeah. it. That guy's been, I'll just say, Eric's been getting fucking tattooed. We know a Doge millionaire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, dude, the problem is he doesn't sell it. It peaked at 80 cents. He didn't sell any of it. And then he, he buys. No, like, he sold a bunch. He sold a bunch. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah for yeah, a while, yeah. he was he buying. He didn't sell. And he was buying. But like I was just like, he dude, dude, he didn't have to pay for any of the electricity because yeah. he's just scamming the school. Yeah, the, that's sick. The school funded his Doge They're empire. like, so the architecture guys, do they it, need like building electricity? Why do they get so the much The university fulfilled its duty in making him become a yeah. successful. Yeah, they set him up dude, for He went to college yeah. for free. So the moral of the story is if you have access to like a library or something, scam them for their electric Start power. Start mining yard coin. <laughs> yard coin. <laughs> <laughs> no. The Come first on. and only crypto. Uh, well, boys, it's about time that we tell you about Coinbase. 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 Proud and solo sponsor so far of the podcast. Uh, I don't think we have a download code yet. 
No. Well, you keep saying yet as if you speak to any representative ever. Mm. I say yet because I just listened to uh, Tiny Meat Gang, yeah. Cody Co. and Noel Miller's podcast. They have a Coinbase sponsor. They have a code. Okay, well, let's get a handle we on a code. We need a code. So Coinbase. Hey, out. hey, use code for downloading Coin, what's the thing? We won't have it. We won't have it by then. We won't then. have it by then. Uh, we'll have a code. Well, maybe, you know, maybe bureaucratic we'll, business. We'll just, maybe we reach out and get a code. We'll, we'll just put look, code not available. Here's what you do. You download Coinbase and you give some love from the yard on, on all the socials so the social media guy can be like, all right, boss, like, I get You buy and sell I crypto got like strategically DMs. in a way where you spell out yard on a, on a graph. Yeah. And they, yeah. they can't ignore it. You make a big Y, which yeah. is a common shape in graphs. Anyway, uh, enough about all that jazz. I uh, oh sh what did I have? This is me. You're doing the me. I'm doing the you. Right. I hate doing the you, but I oh, had some juicy. Oh, I was thinking about it because I was thinking about the Coinbase um, Twitter guy. You know who DM'd me hmm. or who followed me? Who I DM? Naomi Watts. The United Kingdom who wants to be a millionaire Twitter account. What? And I DM them because I thought it was funny that because yeah. they're verified. I DM them and I'm like. Yo, uh, hope you're having a good day, social media guy. Something like that. And he's like, yeah, man, yeah, man. And I'm like, let me know if you have a fire tweet. I'll bump it. <laughs> he goes, all right, bet. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you it just have it chopping it up in DMs with... Because maybe if my streaming career goes to shit, I can win a million dollars. I will say, Ludwig's been hedging his bets lately. I can be a millionaire. Ludwig, and you know what? In the UK, it's called, Who wants some fucking quid cunt? <laughs> <laughs> you want some fucking pence, you pussy? <laughs> so, Ludwig has been hedging his bets. Not I recently. Think, I think you see the end coming. Not I think you think that you're washed. I think, you, so Slime just found out, because I have this unabashed confidence that he's like, he, uh, sometimes I'll be like, yeah, I don't know if this will work. And he's like, what? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> that? You're always, you always know it's going to work. For like work. the first three months that we were working on the yard, I was like, yeah, it'll be great. And everyone was like, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. And then the day before we're going to shoot, I'm like, yeah, this could bomb. And they're like, <laughs> what? It's but also you said, like, why say that? Because I don't have secret knowledge, all right? I'm just using my unabashed confidence to give you some. I have been like hedging my saying, bets a long time. This is like you pitching me the job in the garage and then being like, hey, <laughs> Easy eight figure business. <laughs> Easy. I, don't laugh. And then, I, and then, I, and then like, he quits his and, job. And, he goes, and then I don't even. I don't even say. Wow, cool. I'm like, really? Eight figures? And then he does fake math while we're in the gym <laughs> to get us to eight figures. And then I, I just don't you have just enough believe information. And then, and then he, he just believes what he said. And then he quits his job. And then he quits his job. And I'm like, I don't know about this business. <laughs> yeah, and then, I said that's eight. What he says. Is it eight figures? Why would you do that? Well, what is wrong with you? Look, I think confidence is key to get things going off the ground. I think it'll be great. But so why not just continue with the confidence? Well, I, I am. I'm just also, you know, because when he asks me like questions I can't answer, I have to be like, yeah, I don't know. Good David deal. Gorman, take me back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I learned it when I worked at my vape company. Yeah. Oh, when, uh, you, wait, when wait, you were wait, a wait. merchant of death? You always when I was say a merchant my of death. vape company. I do. Stop your, saying that. Your vape, vape company. company where you the killed, vape company where I got a job killed at. high school students. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're not dead yet. Give them 50 years. You're popcorn lung, one kid at a time. Sheesh. 50 is generous. They don't get hot enough for popcorn lung, all right? They're good <laughs> vapes shaped like iPod shuffles. They're nice and cold. You put the ice don't in them Don't vape the is the key to this. I only vaped zero nicotine when I worked there. But uh, <laughs> one of the things that uh, my boss did, because he was like, my actual boss, CEO, he was from China. Wasn't there like Literally three people that worked at this company? There, the American office had like 12. But the the guy from China, he was really big on like getting numbers and stats to back things up. So I had this whole campaign data guy. To, size, to sign <laughs> face of a, banks. Bit of a numbers guy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I remember this. I had this whole campaign to sign phase banks. I yeah. talked to their manager. I had worked out the price. It was $300,000. Yep. For six months, he had like Snapchat, Instagram. He would only vape that. Uh, we had a big deal worked out, and he's like, "You need to show me this will work." I made up the numbers. No, that's awesome. I made up the numbers on like how much return it would get because I didn't know. Dude, this is so this is so funny because it's just like you you at this job <laughs> before any of this blew up. It's like creating fake numbers, yeah. so that balding face clan owner can rip <laughs> off. Oh, come, yeah. yeah. come on, we got one here, <laughs> bro. <laughs> so does the face and you're, in the, you're in the wrong fucking crew, homie. Yeah, no, face up. Well, so I, I go through and I based off of how much it's gonna cost and like I like I knew the viewers. 
But what I bullshitted is like what the return's gonna be because I don't know what. Yeah, view so we're gonna do go about seven. He's like seven thousand, thousand, mm -hmm. hundred thousand. I make up a bunch of numbers. I do this report. I sell it. I'm a great salesman. All right, I have a great <laughs> voice, great timbre, very confident. So After the report, he says, and I quote, "All right." This was the greatest report I have ever received. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, thank you. And he goes, give me a day. I need to think on this. I didn't think it'd be this difficult. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. He never told us any of this. He did tell me about the, the bank steal and how he was working on it and how much money. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I worked on it for a while. I, the numbers were all right until it was sales for the company. Because that's – how am I supposed to know that? You don't. If, if, if Face Banks is a Snapchat story – with a swipe up for for to a million views, what does that mean? I I don't know. Well, the thing is, a lot of people don't. Yeah. So so marketing is all bullshit. It man. is just like explaining crypto to that old guy. That's why I have a degree in it. Yes, yeah. I say that. You, can can we say that you just cheated all the time? Oh my god, I cheated. So they can much. take <laughs> allegedly. They Alleged can take it back. They can take Dude, it back. I don't even know if I got my diploma in the mail. That's how fucking little I cared. Allegedly. Allegedly. That happened. You cheated all the, the time. Is, I cheated in online classes, allegedly. I cheated the same way that, like, rappers kill people, you know? Like, if they got asked, they're like, <laughs> it's a song. Dude, I love that Key and Peele <laughs> sketch where they're like, I murdered Justin in the streets <laughs> yeah. at 947. <laughs> Dude, allegedly, uh, during, 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 <laughs> allegedly during my capstone in college, uh, the teacher is just like, all right, so um, I have to go make copies, so I'll be back in like 45 minutes. Give us a time. 45 minutes. Leaves the room. This is the, the supposed to be the hardest test and the one that's most crucial for getting your major or for getting your diploma. Right. And um, she leaves the classroom, and everyone just kind of stops and looks around, and everyone's kind of doing like the same thing. And then some kid goes up and says, yeah, what do you guys put for seven? And then someone's like, a B. And the whole class just did the test together. Wow! And then everyone got the same that's grade. So we all passed. That's like you're all. Just, it's like a slow clap. Yeah. Dude, the sick thing would be the teacher walks back in, <laughs> turns on a video camera footage, double sided Dude. glass. Yeah, <laughs> that would be. This lit. was an experiment. Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, that is that's a like very some, funny alleged story. Have you guys ever been caught cheating in school? No, I got caught cheating in high school. I've never been caught. Never it would be cheating. brutal. A teacher to be recognized. I used to pay my friend to do my homework in right. high school. Because it, well, you guys I can't believe you're that guy. You guys, gonna a, dude, you guys gonna roast me? You got to me. swear as a kid. He had a fucking MacBook. I can't you believe cheated he cheated he he to get me? to pre-algebra <laughs> like a fucking idiot. The it was, thing. You guys because, roast me because it was fuck. it was a math class. Yeah, and I was like six oh, plus yeah. eight. I was like, oh, bro, you got to do this for me. I was like, fuck this. So it was it was trig, and I was like, uh, hey man, because he was in my class. I was like, just do you do your homework and then just write it twice. And I'll pay you every time you give it to me. Yeah. And so he did it for the whole year. And one, at one point, the teacher gets it, and she walks up to me and goes, she laughed at me. And she goes, that's not your handwriting. And I'm like, what? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's my handwriting. And she's like, and she just laughed at me again and then walked away. And I'm like, what is this? Am I in trouble? What's this mean? She's not saying anything. She's I not, love that. She, and so, I love sick. that you're freaking so out. So I have that's all sick. of class to make a plan. I'm like, oh, God, I'm gonna, I got to go up to her. I got to say. So after class, I walk up to her, and I'm like, I act like I am mad. And I'm like, why are you saying I'm cheating? Classic. I didn't cheat on this, blah, blah, blah. And she was, she's just like smiling. She's like, I know you cheated. You like, tried to gaslight your math teacher. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I, I, Dude, I, that's I, I 100% gaslight. All kids something. are like that. Yeah. Kids are psychos. And I was like, I was like, what I did was I usually write with a mechanical pencil. And I did this assignment <laughs> with a number two pencil because it's all I had. So it just looks different. And she goes, okay. And then it didn't get me in trouble, but she didn't fucking believe me. Yeah, of course not. And yeah. you need your teacher It would have been sick care. if you were like, are we chill? And then she was like, you shouldn't cheat, bro. And you're like, yeah, you're right. And she's like, bump it. I think the, yeah. the biggest homie I ever received in my entire life. Was, That's not the biggest homie? No. No. It's super destroyed by this one. So senior year of high school, uh, I was in a science class that for a large majority of the year, I was just failing. I just Senior year, I just checked out. Right. Like, I wasn't paying attention to fucking anything. I had, I had like, a, like an almost failing grade in ceramics. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But I you really like, are fucking stupid. No, nah, well, <laughs> I'm doing all right. And uh, so I'm in this class. I and uh, I I was I had a pretty bad grade, and uh, I had to do. I basically had to ace the final. If I ace the final, I don't have to do summer school. I'm fine. I graduate normally. Um, and I I finished the final, and I did not feel like I aced it. So I was like, I gotta do fucking summer school. This fucking sucks. And uh, uh, I get my report card for like the end of the year, and I pass the class. And I was like, fuck, I must have destroyed that final. Whatever. Years go by. I go through college, do all that. My mom sits me down one day. She's like, can I tell you a story? I'm like, sure. And she's like, 
you know that senior year when like you were gonna pa- ba- not pass that class and like yeah she's like your teacher called me and i was like okay and the teacher basically told my mom like yeah your son doesn't come to class he like never listens Swears. blah 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 all this shit but i'm gonna give i'm gonna give him a b i'm gonna pass him because i think he's being an idiot and i think he has potential so i'm just gonna pass him and she, she didn't want to tell me this because she Look thought it would this, be like bad dude. for me to like know that life can just work that way. Oh, and, I, and then I, she told God. me this then. And I was just like, holy shit, I did not deserve that. I will say <laughs> to, there, there, that is the biggest plague that ruins children. And a bet, I bet there's a bunch of people listening. The uh, the have potential Andes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are the worst. Yeah, dude, it fucks you up because yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, I'm considered gifted and bright. And then you're like, oh, I guess I don't have to try. And you know, you know what saved uh, me? You know what saved me was what? Melee. Really? Yeah. I, I got told like all the time growing up by like parents and stuff like, oh, you're going to be a smart kid. You're make a ton of money. And all the yeah. time I was just like, <laughs> yeah, I got this. And then I went to my first Melee tournament where it's something I thought I was really fucking good at, better than all my friends at. Right. And I got owned over and over and over again and no matter how good i thought i was i continuously just got proven wrong yeah. and i eventually had to like realize like i'm only better than like some of my peers at certain things and i have to like really try hard to be actually good at things yeah and the day you accept you're below average and have to work to be above it will be so sick there's a guy in uganda who spent like 20 years training to be one of the greatest weightlifters in uganda who made it to the Japan 2020 Olympics. Oh my god, dude. You can't fucking talk about it. Dude, this is sick. He made it to the Japan 2020 Olympics through weightlifting. It might have been wrestling. Either way, he makes it there from wait, Uganda. Wait, so different. Because uh, he's the best in Uganda. He makes it there. <laughs> His entire plan was to make it to the Olympics to defect from Uganda to become a Japanese citizen. Why? That is because he didn't so want to live nuts. in Uganda. That's actually so nice. Isn't that so metal? Why, why Japan? Well, I don't know why Japan. I assume life? it's just because that's where the Olympics was. Like you have a short window. Oh, because you're there, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because like it's pretty hard to defect from a country. So I guess. He, oh, yeah. yeah. He doesn't have a lot of options. He's yeah. Like, yeah, I'm really gonna. I, I think yeah. I'm gonna sit and wait it out until the 2026 one. You yeah. Know? Like, yeah. <laughs> so okay, so he was just running out his fucking his visa. Yeah. He's just gonna disappear. Well, that's so yeah, so you're a lot of travel, right? You got a travel visa, and he was gonna disappear. He traveled, I think, seven or nine hours by train. From Tokyo to like uh, like Mie Japan or May Japan, I don't know exactly what it's called, uh, and re- left a note detailing like I'm ditching, bro. Like, I, did I, you get away with it? They caught him. No. Yeah. Wait, who could like the t- the Japanese, Japanese police, authorities? The okay. Japanese police caught him. They didn't charge him with anything, but they caught him and they sent him back. They deported him. Uganda, the country, gives a note and they're like really ashamed by his actions <laughs> we're rebuilt rehabilitating him and i'm like dude this is the saddest That's, story that, is, that it's so funny that they have to apologize because that that represents a level of discipline unmatched by <laughs> <laughs> by maybe probably most of the other athletes i was reading the story like praying that he would make it away and here's the funny thing he didn't do it without precedent this has he happened before. before no he two really other fucking hate two uganda. other ugandans did it who are on the rugby sevens team? Now it's starting. I think in the, I think in the 2012, <laughs> 2012 London Olympics, I think, or it might have been a, a, a tournament. But either way, it's the same. They guy defected. Three times with a they mustache. got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Those two guys got away with it. I think they got like amnesty. We also have to add in that uh, we were wrong in the last podcast about the sex beds. That was a yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Everyone's not giving true. Wait, wrong how? We, we read, some... They weren't actually designed yeah. for anti-sex. Oh really? They, yeah, they were, designed, they were designed for sustainability. Uh, I read the comments, so shut the fuck up. We I do it. too. I respond to the comments, which is a level. Of Dude, I hell I got a bunch. So I got a bunch of DMs today. Well, for one, for my birthday, but I got a bunch of other DMs that were. Th- but people saying things like like my bad or whatever, and I'm like, what are these DMs? But they were DMs on the Yard account because Slime was DMing people all day. Things like, hey, shut the fuck up. Dude, or, don't use the Yard account. Or like, hey, that. stop well, fucking, no, no, stop not fucking DMing, DMing them. us. I'm replying. On the yard Twitter. Yeah. That didn't they make it, no, no, DMs. It, it was better. DMs. Yeah. 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 He's just saying that he's not reaching out and saying that first. I'm oh, saying, yeah, yeah. which of course was already implied. Dude, some guy, <laughs> some guy just kept giving his like in-depth review of every episode. And I just said, hey, shut the That's fuck up. That's a great That's listener so to have. Funny. No, I hate that guy. You just Stop hate that listening. he said his opinion to you, but he's a great listener. I just hate that he thinks that I care. I don't think and they think like, it why? deserves to be heard. I think they're just shouting into a void. Yeah. They think it's not going to be responded. But that, also and that's just what pisses message me off, request, I think, right? because it's not a void. It never is. Unless it's literally a journal in your fucking room. 
leave me alone. Yeah. Also, my my D, we talked about briefly on the talk, like on like the second episode we or whatever about Twitter like access. what <laughs> we got to remove slime Twitter access. <laughs> <laughs> we talked briefly about we how like we backwards. like we hate certain types of DMs. Yeah. And uh, my DMs like quadrupled, and all of them start with the same thing. Hey, man, I know you said you hate DMs. Yeah, right. that's what all mine say. But fuck you. And I'm guys. like, I'm like, all right, I, you can just DM me. It's not a big deal. But like. Really? Like you're gonna you're gonna just don't say that. Just just say what you wanted to say because you're reminding me that I don't like it. Okay, I am not a DM hater. I'm gonna read out the worst DM I've ever received. Oh, I love that from a verified <laughs> I'm, account. I'm also not a DM hater. I just hate the, the wait, fucking. Let me say hi to Ludwig. Uh, let me sweat. His you name sweat? is at. I'll I'll rat him out right now. He goes Ludded Wig. That's oh. the first start. Oh. I bring forth a brand new concept for a game show. Double quotes doesn't make a lot of sense. That, with its ingenuity and its potential for entertainment, is bound to make us millionaires. Billionaires, even. And propel us viewership to the millions. Ten what do you say? The reason I hate that DM? Because I have to respond for yep. him to give me the goddamn idea. Yeah, I get those a lot. It's the people who want to get in Wait, your, no, no, your no. inbox. You just don't respond to them. No, no, but no, I'm not going to respond, yeah, but I'm just guy. annoyed that he put... He didn't... Yeah. He, like, he sent... He, it was a bait message. He, why Why does that annoy you, but other ones do He's the Twitter version of those YouTube ads... The business gurus yeah. on every other video, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, and he's like, "Excuse me, dude, that well, that, that, that one guy who's always like, he's always like, you have toxic poop in your colon." <laughs> I that hate guy. that one. Every time yeah. I, every time I no, see I that guy, my, my fight God. or flight response comes up. For dude. anybody who's seen that and is like, "Oh," and, and you're worried about the toxic poop, that's what poop is. It's your <laughs> body pushing. That's what poop is. Of course, it is toxic. That's how. Anyway. Why does that piss you off? Well. It just pissed me off because he didn't give me the full idea. No flame to the they're guy. Trying, they're trying to get into your yeah. inbox. I just wish he would have given me the full idea. You understand how that works? Because yeah, I know I get it, but like, shouldn't uh, what? It's weird that I I thought you didn't get pissed off by anything. Ever. Well, I'm not like pissed off. I'm memingly pissed off. I, I have no hate for the guy. We should probably bleep him so no one attacks okay, him. Okay, so that's different. But it was more so that I'm just annoyed that it's not a complete message, and I have to like follow up to find out what the real juice is. Yeah. As opposed to him being yeah. like, let's do this idea, bing, bing, bing. This would be great. This is how I'm involved. This is how you're involved. And I'd be like, okay, I cool. I'll reply to that guy oh, and be that. like, this idea is great, man. Thanks for sending it. Yeah. And then he has to, f I didn't, I didn't tell you yet. It's like really <laughs> Block love. him. We're, I'm going gonna, gonna to do this and then block him. Never, he never gets <laughs> to tell you. Uh, speaking of <laughs> built-in ads, I have an embarrassing admission. What? I downloaded an ad because I, uh, I've been trying to lose weight. Uh, I've been trying to lose weights. I've been using my fitness pal and my fitness pal much, free version do you right now? has how built in ads. Right now? I started peak 200. I'm looking for 185. Okay. I'm at like 195 right now. I'm, I'm doing like 2000 calories a day. When you add water though, it has an ad uh, for a fake slot app. Really? And I downloaded you it. You use the free my fitness pal? Wait, you got got by an ad? I got the app. Jesus I played Christ. it for 45 minutes today. You, what the fuck is the matter you? with you? <laughs> you are a freak. You're just like, you are literally a consumer. Stop. Stop. I'm, I'm, I'm claiming my daily no, reward. Stop it. No, delete don't it. fucking do that. Stop. The day rolled over. It's midnight. I get uh, a daily reward. Audio listeners, he's literally playing the slot game right now. Stop playing I have a free game. bonus. Stop it. Dude, no, wait, it doesn't wait, matter. Wait, delete it. I have a free bonus that Whoa! gives me yeah, 150K. So the reason I downloaded it is because I was, I was mostly curious. Yeah, I was like, yeah, why you, does you, this You had exist? just got done pooling all the drool from your mouth into your chest <laughs> hole and shitting your pants. And you said, time to do something else that aligns with me and who I am. I was curious. I was like, why the fuck? Why Why is this an app? Why would people want to play with free? Because you can't make money from it, but you can put money into it for free coins. Yeah, you get your coin. Why? Do you not, do you not gamble enough in other ways? Is it? Is it? Is there, is there an end? No. <laughs> but you but you played it for 45 minutes. I played it for 45 cuz I wanted cuz I saw there was a leaderboard and it was oh really confusing. God. Dude, honestly, I would love my dream is to interview the guy's name is Andrew uh, G. He has a uh, 190 million lightning bolts for reference in 45 minutes I farmed 20k. And I want to interview that guy cuz this guy's like grinding. Is, is he paying? How much money did he put in? <laughs> Speaking of, all right, not explored fields. I want to have a race with you guys. Okay. Uh, I want to have sprint? the yard. No, it's a Let's game. Let's go. No, no, we create our own race. No, no. Of this, people? this. <laughs> I've discovered this game. Italians too. M and M cart racing. 
It came out for the Wii in 2007, and it features all the Eminem oh. characters. Does it have the, the oh, green one that green. everyone wanted to fuck? Yes. It, yeah, and she says something about it being sticky. She Yes. No. Yes, he yeah. knows it. Yeah. She goes, it's so sticky. She's a yeah. freak bitch. So I, I did an Eminem <laughs> tier list on who's the hottest, who's the most fuckable. Uh-huh. It turns out it's green, a, blue, a, brown, really fuckable. Uh, not so fuckable. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, there, there it is. It is. Green, blue, look how fuckable green and blue are. Orange, the least fuckable Eminem. Yeah, because yeah. he looks like he, he's... He's just an oaf. He's I scared. bet Orange is a freak, though. <laughs> or, well, the orange commercial is... All right, fuck, he's, he's the fuck, pretzel Fuck, guy. Mary kill. The, the green Eminem, uh, Daisy, and Rouge from Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, uh, kill Rouge, yeah. fuck Daisy... Mary, oh, the, green the green m, &M. <laughs> You are jaded. The green m, &M, you m, &M are would jaded. Uh, age. All three of those? My man. Yeah. Well, okay, well, you're never going to marry Rouge. Yeah. You're going to fuck too... Rouge. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> are you fucking joking? <laughs> yeah, dude, you're not going to marry you're gonna kill you're gonna Fuck Rouge, dude. <laughs> the wings are all weird. and. So I want I want to challenge. I, I think we have all zero skill in this game. I think we should race. What do you mean race? Like, oh, like play all each four. other? All yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. It's on the Wii. It's from 2007. I'll get it, and we'll all race. Yeah, you'll get a legitimate copy, and then we'll use the ROM. I will say the the best player in the world, I think, is James MKW. I don't know if you know him. I think that stands for Mario Kart Wii. There's a lot of Jameses in that community. Yeah. He's, he has all 18 world records. Why don't we do a competition in the most whatever the most popular racing game on the Wii is? Why well, don't we do that? Mario Kart Wii? Well, it's because like an incel might show up. <laughs> What no. if we did a yard a yard Olympics? Who wins? It's because I don't have funky like Kong a, of actual sports? <laughs> actual physical sports yard Olympics. He's actually he's actually so easy to unlock. <laughs> I don't know yard sports know. Olympics. Yard sports Olympics. Olympics. I was gonna it, say it's something. weird though because like how do you do that with individual people? You do like hundred meter dash. Oh, I wouldn't. I don't think I. You I mean, do I like a foot race. high jump, Wait, long not, jump. You think if you had a few months to train? Track and Maybe. field events. If I get back into like the shape I was in like fucking six years ago. We should do this. We all train? I don't think we should do this at all. This is a no, great idea. This is one of those things where you say, this is a great idea. We should do this. And yeah. we will never do yeah, this. Yeah, Ludwig has not mentioned playing soccer with yeah. me once since. Well, so the How's way to do this going? is you DM at Slime underscore Machine at Aiden Calvin and at yeah, Falcon DM on me. Twitter. See what fucking happens. Well, Slime will block you. I'll just <laughs> block you. I don't care. If it's I never, hate you. If, if it, you're watching this, I hate you. <laughs> oh, that's not if it's never ending... But also hit that goddamn bell, son. Sheesh, sheesh. Subscribe, please. Uh, yeah. So, uh, not gonna do that. Um, I want to go back to fucking the M and M's. If we please. <laughs> please. All right, There's yeah. New M and M's. There's like the brown M and M. Pull up all the M and M's here, Zipper. Zipper. Look, I, the hottest M and M is for sure M &M green M and M. List. It's because they made green green M and M like like GoDaddy made commercials in oh yeah they made her oh, yeah. sultry and and, and the, weird every old GoDaddy ad was just yeah. softcore porn in the yeah. middle really of the weird. Super Bowl but you know what we're talking about GoDaddy right now and Dude, that's good marketing I've already I done my them. tier list uh, look look at the picture brown M and M kind of brown box are are yellow and blue peanut M and M's Yellow's peanut. Yes. Uh, Yellow's peanut, uh, blue's pretzel. No, 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 sorry. Yellow is peanut. I believe blue is Blue is pretzel. No, it's not. Uh orange is pretzel. Oh, caramel. Yeah. Blue is caramel. Yeah, caramel, caramel. I was about to pull the phone out and be wrong for the yeah. fourth time today. Uh, the thing about brown that you guys don't recognize, brown is actually wearing a nude dress. All right, because they're chocolate underneath. They're chocolate. That's the same color. Wow. So she looks naked. That's what they would look like if they were naked. Right. Why? Wait a minute. This is the most erotic. Why episode. do they have flesh-colored limbs? I just, wow. So I fuckable. never thought about that until right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't. Think so I've I feel ever like these that. are actually people wearing Eminem costumes. So the question is: Is the brown Eminem doing blackface? Wow. <laughs> that is a. That is the question, isn't <laughs> that it? That is the question. Let's talk to... We have actually the CEO of Mars Incorporated. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourself. <laughs> is there a oh, dark What is this? Red, uh, blue is almond, raspberry, or dark cho chocolate? And dark oh, chocolate. Uh, oh, John also? Lovitz is the red M&M? Yeah. And J.K. Wow. Simmons, Simmons is, is yellow. yellow. Yeah. What the fuck? He talks like Goofy. This is star-studded. Yeah, they have a star-studded lineup. Dude, it's, this is kind of throwing me off. So, I didn't realize. <laughs> you guys like, might not know. The Eminem campaign's from like the 90s, I think. That it's changes a, It's like for a 30-year-old campaign. It's very David popular. David Cross is the... 
Oh my god. Orange Dude, M&M? Dude, people have been doing oh, M&M cum M&M. tributes for years. It's like a <laughs> thing to be an M&M. Wow. He's been the M&M since 95. I was born when John Lovett signed to be an M&M. And I'm reaping Dude, the benefits. Dude, I'm always surprised J.K. Simmons is such a good actor to yeah. be in so many minor roles. Well, he wasn't like, always known as a good a actor, right? He, he was be, like... He's old, and yeah. he always has been old. You have to understand that actors, especially old actors, like a role is not... Even if you're a great actor, it's not guaranteed. It guys, is weird. You guys want to settle something for us? So we uh, right before filming this podcast, we watched the movie Accepted. Fuck J.K. Simmons. <laughs> and well, okay. Wait, why would you say that? Kill Rouge. We watched. <laughs> 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 nah, nah. Uh. We watched the movie Accepted with Justin Long, and uh, I love Justin Long. Slime hates. Why Justin do you Long. love him? Tell me that first. I he's like money. Justin Long. He's money. Why do you think he's money? I Justin Long is money because of our generation. Because he was he was really promoted to us. Uh, he was promoted to me. That movie came out when I was six. I think he's funny. I think Justin I think Long is admirable in the way that like you see anyone on the street and uh, maybe they can make it in acting okay there's justin long he looks like shit yeah right that's here. a bad he smile. looks fine wrong zippers justin, on my side he just dude. looks like a normal he looks guy fine. no he looks, no, he looks fine. fine he looks fine but uh, like i was just i think i have contempt so we were watching accepted which i had never watched actually i just remember the trailer. ask me about my wiener you know that, that line from the movie accepted and i'm, I'm working with it. some very seen accepted no. a volatile herbs or whatever this is also my first time and so, so we're watching it and i'm like the, the reason why i have contempt for that movie is in general because it made college look like this ultra sh- glossy experience that like shit like this happened and it just isn't that way and i didn't i don't like that being no that is a misinterpretation m- because the, marketed the whole to the youth. plot of the movie is that he doesn't get into college and he creates a fake ideal it version. doesn't matter because ultimately it's still saying what all the other college is that movies Jonah were Hill? saying yeah yeah i i bro, super bad. he is so Bad. <laughs> Come on, on bro. He used to be big, what? Dude. Big guy, Come dude. Come on. He's 06. He's 06 when this came out. I recognize him. Because I, I, now I think of skinny Jonah Hill when I think of Jonah Hill. Yeah, he's, you know, I, that's what happens. I think you're right, by calories the way. Calories in versus I, calories out. I'll back out. you up on this. I, I will think... always love him because of dodgeball. Oh, yeah. Justin dude. Long. That's it. That's, that's yeah, a, but, I, yeah. But the thing is, dodgeball just, is two years Justin Long is the least interesting part of dodgeball. And you all think that Justin Long matters, but it could have been Eamon. Yeah. No, but, but that's it, why, that's it, why I'm saying he does matter. Yeah, but that's why. No, and relatable. that's why it's funny. Straight man. But we don't think about Justin Long. We think about all the other funny people that exist in the world. Yeah. Maybe I that's why I hate Justin him. Long. I want to fight him. No. Isn't he in Die Hard? This yeah. Die Hard 3, right? You want to fight Die Justin four. Long like you want to move back into the closet, dude. I would love to see Justin uh, Long I think kick I'm your fucking teeth capping, in, bro. dude. Mm-hmm. Let me find that guy. I would love to see Justin Long kick your fucking teeth. <laughs> I would love to find Hey, and if he beats my ass, I have to hold that. Yeah. Dude, he's, actually, like, he's actually like a really good guy. Celebrity boxing. You don't know that. No, I, I followed him on Twitter for years. I don't like give years. a fuck. I you don't follow. know. No, he like, he like, he I like, just like the people Twitter in the gym. He like promotes like, like charities and stuff. Like he's like a good guy. Uh, Bro, honest to Twitter, God dude. though, I, straight up, I... I'm gonna say it. I think Eat That Pussy's a good guy. Like I've seen him on Twitter, bro. I just watched the videos, bro. Guy, you He's know like what, wholesome, dude? bro. I, what I'm saying is, if I step to Justin Long and I'd be like, "You were a part of a machine that created a culture of uh, disingenuousness toward the you academic can't blame system." An actor. Oh, I will. Why? And I do. Actors and do the nothing. Fact that blame the writer. Nick loves him. He's right. For no reason. <laughs> and I will step to Justin Long and I will say, my friend loves you and he shouldn't. And he would go like, <laughs> and he'd, be, he'd be like, man, your friend's kind of a dick. And I'd be like, yeah, I used to like that sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, have, and then like, we would have a normal conversation. <laughs> Zipper pull up Justin Long in a fight stance. And then I'd be like, do you want to fight now? And maybe he'd be like, yeah. And no. we go to the yard. I, I don't Wait, want to listen to fucking closet guy. No, sure. Because, because, because if he met Justin Long in real life, he would have a normal conversation. I'm pretty sure oh, yeah, Justin so Long got too. ripped. I'm pretty sure he got I'd ripped so for normal. a role. Justin Justin Long got but if he asked me to fight him, I'd be like, let's do this. this is- let's sign some contracts, release liability, and Surely let's go he got to the ripped yard. For this die is hard, like, I had my proudest moment in Melee a few months ago in a, in a very similar circumstance where I bumped into someone I knew on Unranked, and they uh, beat me in one game. In with my main, and uh, I was pissed because they left right after. I'm like, you fucking won. Oh, he won and done you. You fucking won and done Mm -hmm. me. So I go into the Oregon Melee Discord server and I call him out in front of anybody, everybody, and I just all caps like rant about him quitting out on me and like fucking play me right now. Put fifty on it. Justin Long, where are you, bro? And we'll play in front of the call right now. We'll play a best of five. (laughs) Fucking. 
three would him in front of the call. Wow. Like while I'm muted, and I just leave, and I say never one and done me again. Yes, and sir. I leave. Yes, sir. I would have one and, and done, and I, I would have never fought you. More again. proud. Um, on, on a higher high than I've ever felt from any tournament whenever. You should give him some respect for actually coming through to do He, he did show up. He doesn't up. owe you shit. Yeah, because yeah, he could just it's say... It's fucking that play. They don't owe you, you more don't want than one anyone. Done. No, he, he owes me something because we know each other. I think that's did why. Did he know it because, was you? Hmm? Did he know it was you? No. When he well, that's you know, been, he no, 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 no. But you treat every person. You I treat know. every oh. person. Oh. With, with the fairness. You freak. Yeah. No, no. Because would you ever sit down no, on the setup at an actual tournament and then just get up mid game? You would never. No, because do that. the context is fucking different. You weird psychopath. <laughs> yeah. no, no, it's not. Would you treat it's this in person experience different than online? Mm -mm. Yes, no, it's the same. You know how you block because someone on Twitter? In the game. Would you do that in you're real life to someone? Would you, put a, would you write a big X with red marker on their face and not talk to yeah, them? Yeah, would no. you do that? Online is different, you freak bitch. <laughs> I want it done all the fucking time. Yeah, but okay. That's so, I was going to say, so you live, you, nothing you say ever matters because you live in a different world where you're Ludwig Anders and yeah. anything you do, if you lose at a game, you're just like, huh, I'm one and dunning. It doesn't people, matter. One and dunning people in Melee, I think is so rude. There's no precedent that it should be more than a one and done. Because why are you one and done them? What have you taken away from that one game? Look, for context, on Slippy Online, you can play as many times as you want. Eamon's convinced that it needs to be a best of three. Three games. Yeah, you should play, first you should two play at least the best win, three. It's like it's some over. low tier god, like, let's get the set. Get the set. You but know, like. there's no... I mean, if there was a button that you could like voice and be like, set? Question mark? And then they'd be like, yes, then you're good. You communicate. That's why it just says no LOL. I, I yeah. do. I, th this is why I like that the, the Melee community is just small enough still that if you work really hard, you can find out who people are. So when you see them at a tournament, you can say, hey, you're the fucking guy who did this. And do you want to play right now? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Thanks. This probably was in the box. That might be the book, yeah. Yeah. And I, that's what I appreciate about it. Because you can you can actually talk to that person in person. <laughs> and say like hey why don't we just uh why don't we play just we small play? enough that you can gatekeep anyone who doesn't best a three your ass yeah i don't I, anything <laughs> yeah. anything a that comes out of aiden's mouth about melee i fucking I'll, i'm asleep bro it's true hey there's <laughs> hey there's only one person in this room who's been better than that guy for six months guaranteed Sheesh. Sheesh. who is it amen how many times have you beaten me in a best of five not worried about that how many times have i beaten you in a best now of five? i got a different conversation for you guys i'm done to, to move on <laughs> I had a harrowing conversation Ooh, this week. Okay. Terrifying. Okay. I've been worried a little bit about some of my YouTube stats. I've been trying to make some changes. You know, yeah. I'm on the pulse. I see when things are down, when things are up. Yeah. July wasn't the best month. I'm trying to make August a great one. So I hit up Mr. Beast. I've done this before. I've hit up some YouTube gurus, like Small Ant, people like that, who I think know their shit. Mr. Beast, probably the king, right? Nobody knows YouTube better than Mr. Beast. I think a lot of people do. No, I no. disagree. No, he's I, the I, king I, I of think, YouTube. I think he's fucking figured <laughs> this out. Is maybe thing. Mark Rober knows it better. The, slightly related, a, a quote from a friend who visited yeah. their family this past weekend. Uh, I don't know who Ludwig is. He must not be famous. I am going to marry Mr. Beast, Nora, age seven. <laughs> 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 cool picture of Mr. Beast popped up. And there he is. He's the king, I think. Okay, sure. And uh, and he's also very nicely willing to help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I think he kind of gets his he gets happy like giving advice and then seeing it pop off. And so he gave daily dose of internet some advice on how to change some editing. I talked to him and I'm like, I sent him a video. I'm like, what do you think about the title thumbnail? Like, is, is it not? And he just says could be more clickbaity. And then I follow up and I ask, hey, what's like a good viewer retention? Because every video you upload will have a certain percentage of watch time, right? And uh, and he said anything below seventy percent is bad. Ooh, what's Holy yours? Shit. I average fifty five, sixty. Wow, you're cringe. My good videos get sixty eight, sixty nine, maybe seventy. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I, I it just blew my mind that anything below seventy is bad. Wow. The last person who I ever talked to about this uh, was Alpha Red when I was first starting out. And he was like, yeah, 45 is great. Like, if, if you're doing that, you're good. It might just be, like, genre stuff, right? Yeah. I think a bit, surely. But obviously having a higher viewer attention is just better, right? Like, sh like if you're doing an yeah, hour. of course. Of this course. podcast, there's no I realm think there's where it's like, No, we're, at, we're hit probably, like, 91, 92. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone just watches the entire time and then, like, Venmo's us $20. That is true. <laughs> and then subscribes and smashes that bell. Yeah, the bell they needs to be destroyed. They smash a real bell on their desk. Destroyed. But that fucked me up. So immediately I, like, go to shake and polite. 
I like gather gather the minds. I'm like, gentlemen, <laughs> we have to change. <laughs> Wait, did you? Yeah. Because when you went yeah. live with your stream title, <laughs> when you were live with your stream title and it said no more daily uploads, I go into <laughs> I go into the Mogul Moves Discord server, which is like shake and polite, which you never use ever. It's yeah. what I mm -hmm. used to talk about. I don't to even them. know it existed till now. Oh my god, you're no an way. And I go in there and I'm like and I, I just have a screenshot of like your stream title. I'm like, lads, like, it, is it? Please say cap. Yeah. And then Shake just said, I don't know. He doesn't tell us shit. <laughs> that was just clickbait for my Reddit recap upload. Okay. Oh, I'm thinking when about did you, when did you meet with the mines? Well, I DM them to tell them. I just DM them. I just told them that we need to like do shorter videos. I talked to Jimmy. He's Jimmy's just a beast, by the way. Oh, uh, you guys are on first name basis? Well, no. His well, first name's James. Oh, James Beast? We're in <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just Please, DM'd, Mr. I, Beast was my father. I just DM'd him what they said. I was like, we should shorten our videos a bit and shorten our outros. Um, but no, the, the, the daily upload ending, I, I'll, I'll talk about this because I talked about it a bit on stream. What are you doing? Mostly... <laughs> Dude, Ludwig... Me watch, bringing up watch. daily uploads. That's your Ludwig. Wait, 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 yeah, this is distracting. I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to. Sorry, go ahead. This is our this is our clip channel. I'm trying to farm right look, here. Boys, look. Go ahead. Uh, let's start from the top. From the top. And action. No, you have to ask. You have to ask me. Like, hey, what did you mean? When wait, you? What when did you, you mean when you said you were going to stop daily uploads? So, dude, I cannot do it if you're gonna do this. <laughs> I, got, I got you. I'm I got done. You. I'm done. Okay. He's over here pulling his butt. Okay, okay. You can't focus on the clip. <laughs> And Ludwig, what what, what what did you mean when you said you weren't going to do daily uploads anymore? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Lead him in. Lead him in. I'll, lead him in. No, I got it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. No, no, Aiden. Aiden. Aiden quite on set. Quite on set. Quite on set. This reset. podcast will die and it'll be your fault. Lead him in. <laughs> okay. So, Ludwig. Why is you talking about the video, man? Did All right. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people been asking about why I talked about ending daily uploads. What they asking about? Yeah. Very simply, I, I actually think it's a good idea. I actually think it's a good idea to end daily uploads and do more quality videos. I probably won't for a while because I like the streak. But I, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I'm just putting the thought in people's minds rather than rug polling randomly one day and being like, it's over. Well, it's because it's kind of been part of your identity. It's like, I'm the guy who uploads every day. You yeah. say it a lot. You're proud of it, which is, I think, it makes a lot of sense. Like, it's hard to do that. It's hard to do you it. You got to kill your darling sometimes. But the, the, the fact is, it's not like I'm ending daily to do weekly. It's more like I have no obligation to post daily. And if I don't want to post that day because I don't feel like the content's ready or good, then I can just wait. So, I, you know what's funny? So when, when we used to play uh, games with our friend Dawson, he'd be like... Uh, He'd be like, your content's kind of, uh, kind of taking a dive, Ludwig. And he says that he's just trying to needle. He's just fucking with sure. you. Sure. And you're like, my content's fire, bro, because like you're, you always need to believe that it's fire. But let me ask you a real question, Ludwig right. Anders, here right now. Okay. Because we have to cut a lot because we said so many bad things about our lawyer. Do you? Th <laughs> what content have you made? Do you think isn't up. fire? Isn't fire? I think everything I've uploaded is fucking banger. You, please be honest with me for <laughs> once in your life, please. Yeah, I, please. Uh, what is your I just want to be your on friend the, on just like the views going down a bit. Uh, I think it happens. Swingy. Sometimes it goes up. Sometimes it goes down. But when it goes down, you can be more proactive. You can set shit up. I just have to like set shit up. I've been fu the no, th the problem is is it? is it like fatigue? I, I, I no, it's just that I don't have like good enough clickbaity content that I like got to set up. But like this week, I got a mogul money. I got a bros versus pros. I got the uh, battleship tournament, and I'll probably pump out a YL YL. I'll go recycle some shit. Ludwig's like a like a the love animal. Video's coming. It, okay, so when you buy like a pet snake. It do, it can't bond with you. It doesn't know that you love it. <laughs> yeah, and that's how Ludwig is. Ludwig has unable to understand how much I love him. He's in the stream room like he's under a UV light. Uh, yeah. what I'm and he's saying, just doing like this. The the way the <laughs> the reason that YouTube has a good month is because my daily drivers are there, but I also have some sweet Ferraris in the mix, and I'll have a like a few like million view videos in the month. And this past month, I've had one, and it's mogul money. Sure. And that's why. So you're trying to get more Ferraris. So if I just have a few more Ferraris, that's literally the only difference that needs to be made, and it will be fine. Do you believe that there's a fair amount of people who don't watch videos because they already saw it on Twitch? Yeah, but that's but that, that pretty small. That can't be that much, right? It's pretty no. small. Like sure, 10, I'm just saying, people. like, someone like Mr. Beast, right? Like, 
they like he or like maybe they watched the vod but like, or, but like mr beast like you know when you see something he's done you didn't even know it was happening until it came out i i think it can't be the dis- difference maker with him right it's, because the view yeah. the views don't match up it's only it, it's like 20 only you it's know? bad like 20 for to 50 thousand people watching it on twitch but then you have hundreds of thousands on YouTube. it's bad for hive mind yeah, Hive Mind gets a Hive lot of Mind. Flack. I don't think I'll upload anymore after this season. If we do another one on Twitch, I don't think I'll upload it. But that that's the only one that I'm like, I need to cut this. YouTube fascinates me, dude. Well, Me- meeting more and more YouTubers, I just want to ask them a million questions. Everyone's got a different idea. Alpha Red thought idea. 55 was good. You know what I Turns ask? Out, you know what I ask? It's cringe. every single YouTuber I, I meet. What? I ask them, what do you want? To, what do you want to end up doing? Like, do you want to do what you're doing right now forever, or is it like a a goal you're trying to get to and, and like they've actually a lot of them had like pretty insightful like cool answers i asked them if they can stretch their nutsack skin out like a trampoline <laughs> and then bounce skittles into their mouth using it can you do yeah that? so uh so we had a really normal conversation me and schlatt about <laughs> it <laughs> yeah schlatt by and the way i'm the snake that you can't relate with <laughs> <laughs> he just by opened his way. heart and then you went <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to figure out if all you guys can fucking see him <laughs> schlatt can do it he told me um, now I wish. <laughs> that's about it for us, though. Yeah, you want to ra- you want to rap ski it up? Let's rap ski it up. I got mogul money tomorrow that will have already been aired. Hopefully, it goes great. Hello from the past to the future in the future past. That was complicated. Once again, hey! if you made it this far into the video, uh, hit that fucking goddamn bell. If you made time, it this please. far, you already saw. Fuck, dude, we, sp- we forgot to mention the clip channel again. If Fuck. you made it this far, check out the clip channel. I hit two bells. Probably about like fifty k at least made it this far. If you did. Uh, check out our clip channel and subscribe to it. It just helps it a bit with the algorithm. There's also a TikTok yeah. channel that's doing pretty well. The Babes, Yard Podcast. We're on everything. Dude, there's people who comment like just commenting for the algorithm, and all of them hitters. I love those people. Hitters. I love those those people. people I matter because they don't need attention. They just need to know that hey, I'm trying to help you out because you help me out, and I'm like we're together now. Some rider does. Yeah. Uh, but thanks for watching this episode of the Yard. Fun fact: I uh, didn't bring this up earlier. The Yard on Apple Podcasts only mentions three hosts. So let's thank these three hosts. I know, dude. I'm going to thank these three hosts and only these three hosts as we close out. Thank you to Ludwig Ogren. Thank you to Aiden Calvin. And finally, thank you to Eamon Ross. Those are the three hosts on fucking Apple. Because they just automatically looked at Twitters. Oh, yeah. and that was my so, name. So oh. bye. But, but now it's Tub Girl Boss, so I'll see you on there. <laughs> Good night, guys. See ya.